Hey there, it's Doug Brown. Are you having issues with clients who don't pay you and find you find you're extending credit and giving them payment plans? Well, today I'm going to talk about something you can do to maybe make that a little bit better uh, in your practice. That's something that's really easy and, and can work. And I came up with this idea working with one of my clients because she had that issue. Uh, we're in the process of helping her upgrade her clients, making sure she's only bringing on more A-level clients who can actually pay her. Uh, as opposed to people who need her but can't pay. And so she's got this legacy issue of people on payment plans that can take many years to pay off. And many of them are paying, but we want to stop contributing to the problem and fixing it. So as uh, in our session, we went through and looked at her accounts receivable aging and uh, the money that she's got in her trust account. And um, the idea that I came up with for her is to make sure, number one, that you are always having a minimum estimate for the trust account based on the particular type of matter. And number two, um, to rather than waiting until people are the matters done and putting them on a payment plan, um, if you've estimated the amount that's necessary and they couldn't pay the whole thing, to go ahead and say, well, you know, let's make it easier for you. Let's put money into the trust account on a regular payment plan. And then at the end of the matter, you'll have enough saved up um, to pay things. And if, if not, we can do something about it. But that way, they're in the habit of paying and accumulating that. It's a little bit, I don't want to tell the client this analogy, but it's a little bit like you, know, you put money aside for the IRS, you pay your taxes, you get the difference back. So she's going to give that a try with the new clients. And it's not going to happen as often because we're doing some pretty good work with her to have her be more discriminating about the types of matter she has and the types of people that she's taking on so that she doesn't have an accounts receivable problem. But occasionally people can't come up with the money right up front and it's going to be more than your initial retainer. So having this routine, uh, I think, can really help. It gets the clients in the process of paying and um, keeps her from being the bank and having to go to chase clients for collection because that's a nightmare and that's a whole other topic for another day. So I hope this helps you. Uh, and again, if you have people on payment plans, make sure they keep paying. And I'll talk more in another video about how to collect on accounts receivable uh, without getting sued. But for today, that's a good, that's good. Give this a try, see how it works. And remember, if you're doing it a lot, then you should be looking at upgrading your client base so they can actually pay because the longer they take to pay, the less money you make. That's it for today. Bye for now.